What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhyme Style here. Today, I got to show you a purchase that I recently made that I'm really, really excited about. No, it's not the Neo Destiny box background. Fun fact this is the first booster box of vintage booster boxes that I bought uh, once I came back to the hobby back in 2016. And I got to say, this is a this is a purchase that I was really afraid of at first because I was like, do I really want to spend this much money on this box? And I was like, no, screw it. I pulled the trigger and boy, did I make the right decision because this box nowadays is so ridiculously rare. Like even getting the packs is, is ridiculously rare. So because of that, I'm, I'm happy about that. And once I bought this box, it made me really start getting into more on the sealed product when it comes down to Pokemon, which I mean, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of second gen. Pokemon Silver literally was my childhood. That's why I had to get the sealed as well. So everything when it comes down to this generation is top tier like Fanda when it comes down to me, which is why I had to do what I had to do this past week. First edition Neo Genesis box. Now, when it comes down to the, the, the sealed product from like the early 2000 days, I feel like Neo is probably something that you want to go for when it comes down to like the sealed collectibles. Just due to the fact that it's so ridiculously rare and I feel like it's kind of safe to just because because there's so little product of it in the world that if you buy this, you can probably guarantee your, it's going to go up over, over time. Uh, some have bigger jumps because I know this right here. I'll tell you right now, I bought this box for three grand back in 26, 2017, excuse me, 2017 for three grand. And if you look this up, if you look this box up right now, it's like <laughs> three times the value at minimum, which is ridiculous. So when I bought this this past week, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And much love to Collectors Cash. A big shout out to them. I bought a bunch of packs with them in the past before. They're the ones who made the very smooth transaction. And much love to them. And I know what you're thinking. Rhyme, open it. We came here for an opening. Absolutely not. Just like this box, this is going to be sealed for quite a long time. Sorry, Pokemon Silver. Let me go ahead and just move you out of the way so you can be in the background here for you know, the rest of this video. But I got something else for you guys. Now, I have been trying to get packs for Neo Genesis in the past week <sighs> on a daily basis. And the thing about getting Neo Genesis packs is if you get a Neo Genesis pack, there's a good chance it's going to be weighed and you're going to spend a lot of money. The booster packs, I think, for unlimited go for like 100 bucks. And if you get the first edition packs, you're talking about at least 150 plus. On top of that, if you buy the packs, they're most likely going to be weighed. So we got option two instead. These are the Japanese version of Neo Genesis. I got seven packs. They're a whole lot cheaper. And the best part is they all come with hollows guaranteed. I've opened these once on the channel before. I think I actually did it on my main channel back when I used to do Pokemon cards on my main channel. And I figured it's not the English version, but the good news is there's going to be hollows inside it. Obviously, these are worth a lot less just because uh, it's a lot easier to get a hollow. But I figured, you know what? You're going to get the, the story of Neo Genesis. You can see the Neo Destiny box as well. And we got some hollows out of it. So without further ado, let's hop into this. It's been obtained. Got to make sure they're all carefully. Don't want to damage any of these cards. Slowly. And obviously the big goal is going to be Neo Genesis Lugia. So fun fact. When this set came out as a kid, I was the most excited person on Earth. Just due to the fact that it was the first time we saw Pokemon that were different. Because, uh, you know, me growing up with, with the original 150 or 151. The second one they released second gen, I'm like, oh, there's more? I was like the most excited kid. I was so excited. And this is going to hurt some of you guys. I traded a holographic fossil Articuno for a common Meryl. Yes, I did that. <laughs> Only because it was uh, something that was brand new. I think this is a... Yeah, this is actually a rare. So you get a rare and a hollow per pack, I think. Or I think you just... You're, you're guaranteed a hollow, but it can also have a rare thing. I think that's how it goes. So we got Horsey. We got a trainer. We got Sunkern. Uh... Mareep, we got, uh, not Wooper, what's his name? Stupid. Uh, Qu Why am I blanking on his name? I should know this one. I'll skip it. Why did I forget Wooper's Evolution? I'm only talking about how much I love second gen, and I'm literally blanking on Wooper's Evolution. Pikachu, we got Hoppip, we got Seedra, and the rare is... Oh! Yes! That is my favorite starter of all time. Well, second favorite starter. Favorite water starter. Second favorite starter on top of, uh, of uh, what's his face? Charizard. Woo! Okay. This is, this is a good opening. I, I believe there's two for alligators in the set. I know there is uh, two Typhlosions, and one of the Typhlosions is like ridiculously valuable. Uh, in the English set, of course. I don't think the, the, the Japanese version is that much uh, more valuable. But that, that's that's cool. Uh, of the pulls that I want to get, definitely is going to be Typhlosion, both of them, preferably. And Lugia. And then on top of that, of course, the, the uh, for alligator. All right. Cool. First pack is already fire. Here we go. Let's go into the next one. It's gonna bug me trying to remember Wooper's evolution. The thing is, is I never evolved Wooper's. I never evolved Wooper because I like Wooper's base form, so I always kept him in this first form, pretty much every game. Ooh, this is a little bit damaged. No, 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 no! Please don't be Lugia. Please be like a a jump bluff or something. That'd be kind of nice. 
We got Donphin. Actually, it's out of the way. Cyndaquil. <laughs> Dog, don't mind me. I just woke up. I have no idea why I'm blanking out on these Pokemon that I know. That I know. We got Lady Anne. We got Snubble. Totodile, I'm going to put you in the bag with your dad. There you go. We got Trainer Card. Uh, we got Natu. Big shout out to Leonard. And, whoop, oh, hoot hoot. There's a Trainer Card. And, Meganium. All right, now we're getting the evolutions. Yo. I'm kind of upset that it's a little it's a little bent in the corner, but whatever. I might, I might still send it in to get great just because I feel like since to commemorate the purchase of the box, I figured, eh, might as well get him great. This is gonna be like a little like a six though because of that bend in the corner, but whatever. But dude, this is this is nice so far. This is nice so far. Okay. Uh next pack. Here we go. So uh I'm pff, I really want to try to get some English packs of these. So like I said, the only scary part is the fact is you get the older packs, there's a good chance they're gonna be weighed, and you know how it is with people, like I mean, <laughs> I am not a stranger to buying weight packs. You guys have seen my openings on here a couple times now, especially with Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've been hurt before. I've been hurt many times before. And I don't want to have, have to have to have have to have that happen. Wow, with Pokemon as well. We got a trainer card. We got Lady Ba, another trainer. I believe this is the Pokedex. I want to say. Oops. Another. Uh, we got uh, Chincho. Another Totodile. I'll put you in the back as well. Got another trainer card. Another number two. Big shot to Leonhart. A sun card and next one actually clef all right yeah it's clef i believe and Ampharos. hey let's go a fun fact i gotta tell you about Ampharos as well so this is one of my lesser proud stories i remember when i was a kid i want to say i was like maybe 10. uh when second gen first came out there was this kid on our block who was one of the first to get the hollows out of it and he was walking around like bragging very bad like look what i got you know yada yada, yada. you guys saw your first gen i'm on second gen and I remember my friend was like, trade me for it. And he was like, no, I'm not trading you. And for some reason, my friend, you know, like they, they talked and we we're walking away. And my friend goes, hey, Dino, look. And I'm like, dog, you took it? I'm like, he goes, yeah, yeah, I'm like, no, go give it back. And uh, he's like, no, I'm keeping it. He wouldn't trade me. I'm like, no, you can't just take his card. It was, it was, it was like super bogus. Um, so what I'm doing is, is, is the, the two didn't like, 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 didn't like, like each other or whatever. And whatever happened is, is after he, uh, found out that, when the guy found out that my friend stole his card, my friend just crumbled it up and threw it into the, into a, uh, off like, off like the side. And was like, I, I never had it. And then he found it later, and then he found that he did actually crumble it up. Good news is, he gave him a card for it later because he felt bad. But I'm like, dude, you can't do that. Like, come on, man. That's the Hollow and Pharaohs. Yeah, wasn't me though. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I would never do something like that to somebody. I mean, the Pokemon cards were special, man. Okay, next one. Let's see what we can get. Uh, slide this bad boy out. Come on, Lugia. Come on, Lugia. There's another, uh, there's an Onyx and a trainer card. Gloom. We got Gloom. We got Sentret. We got Mant. I hate Mantine so much because I hatched this stupid Pokemon so many times in Pokemon Go. We got Zatu. Stantler and uh, Hopip. And then the rare. Oh, excuse me, Croconaut, and then the rare. Hey, Kingdra! This is actually, I want to say this is my first. This is my first Hollow I had that I owned. It was. This is my first Hollow I owned from Second Gen, from Neo Genesis. And I remember again, to me, it was just the coolest thing ever. Knowing that the Pokemon I had just spent like a year and a half obsessing over had number one, it was more, and two, some had evolutions further than what we saw in First Gen. So obviously, uh, Horsey into Cedra, and then Kingdra. This was like the coolest thing to me. So put that in the background as well. We're gonna go ahead and eh, we don't have to cover up anything. We can just do this. We'll give the spotlight to Meganium and for Alligator. And if Typhlosion shows up as well, then then yeah. Okay. Again, the good news is when you open the Japanese packs, you're guaranteed to get a hollow. It's a good opening. It is a good opening. Cut that bad boy up. Oh no, I can Lugia around the head. Alright, slide this bad boy out. I smell a Lugia in this pack. I smell a Lugia in this pack. Let's see what we got. We got uh Weewile. Weewile. Wow. Mantine, we got Pillow Swine, another Sentret, Onyx, Gloom, or oh, maybe a Steelix. I wouldn't mind getting a Steelix as well. We got Gligar, we got Mareep, Flaffy, and a rare slash hollow. Hey, Pichu, nice. Again, something else that was so cool to me was the fact that, that they, they, they revealed babies in second gen. That also was amazing to me. Was Pichu the only hollow baby in this set? Because I know, uh, what was it? Um, uh, like the other so like like Ella kid and stuff like that. They were like just on non hollow rares I think I want to say if I remember correctly. All right, we got Two packs left two more chances if I get a Lugia I'm gonna freak out because he's like my my second favorite Legendary right next to uh, uh, to Mewtwo up there. All right, here we go. 
I'll still never forget when I first got Pokemon Silver. My parents knew how badly I wanted it. I was like one of those kids that would get like one game a year. And I remember I was like, yo, the one game I won this year, mom, dad, is Pokemon Silver. And it was my birthday. And I remember, <laughs> they're such trolls. They bought me a sweater. And I remember I opened the sweater. I'm like, oh. And like, I'm like holding back tears on the inside. But I'm like, you know, I'm happy. I'm like, oh, well, you know what? It's cool. Thank you for the sweater. And as I'm opening the sweater, I'm like, I feel a box. And it was Pokemon Silver. I was so excited. I immediately, like, I, I did not, I think I played it for like four or five hours straight that day when I got that game. Uh, Noctowl, that's a new one. Spinarak. We got Girafferig. We got another trainer. Darius again. Uh, Cyndaquil. Pseudowoodo. I saw the white. I'm like, guys, it's going to be Lugia. But I got Miltank and hey, another Kingdra. Are we doubling up? No, I don't want to double up. I don't want to double up. I don't want to double up. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Put that back here. All right, well, what are the chances that number one, we'll either double up or two, this will be either a Typhlosion or a uh, potential Lugia. Only one way to find out and by jumping back into these packs. I might, I'm going to be real with you. I might get more of these Japanese packs because, like I said, they're a lot cheaper. I'm talking about, I think it's like 20 bucks a pack as opposed to how it is with uh, the English packs, which are like way, way more. I might get more. If you guys enjoy seeing something like this, then let me know and I'll try to get more packs. And again, it will be kind of fun to try to hunt for Lugia. Um, but again, it's, it's powers in your hands. You tell me what y'all want to see and I got you. Lady Anne, Stantler, we got a Pikachu, we got a Seedra, we got a Natu, and a Hoot Hoot, a Clefine, that should be the next card, the final card! No, it's a doubled up of a Pichu! Ah, it's cool. You know what, I'm happy because at least I pulled my uh, my favorite starter next to uh, Charizard. Comment section below, what is your favorite starter in second gen? So between, look at all the lines. So from Cyndaquil, to uh, Chikorita, to uh, to Totodile, all the way up to Evolution. What is your favorite of those three? Let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, much love to Collector's Cash. Again, where is the card? I just had it next to me. Ugh. I, I, the card went missing. Uh, the information will be in the description below. If you want to go check out their site and get some packs or cards over there, they're awesome to work with. Uh, and like I said, they made this transaction very, very smooth. Oh, here it is, over here. They made this transaction very, very smooth. And then these packs, I just bought on eBay uh, because, like I said, it, it's kind of hard to find those packs online, even the Japanese ones. I found a couple on eBay and I figured, hey, it's going to go good with the opening. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.